we've been invited to something cultural, so we've got to scrub up. <laughs> Welcome to Madrid Unplanned! Hello. Hello, I'm Christina. I'm Johnny, and you're joining us from a wintry night in Madrid. So we've been invited by our friend over at Madrid No Thrills to come and see the photo exhibition. Very excited, very humble to be invited, and I hope we have a good night. Come with us. Come with us, if you want. Yeah, they want. Do you? Yeah, they want. My beard's so lovely. <laughs> Madrid No Thrills is a website with the idea to highlight the not so celebrated parts of Madrid and its surrounding villages. You'll find interesting articles and great photos, and you'll learn a lot too. So go check them out. Links below. Okay, let's tell you a wee bit about the exposition. It's on during the whole month of December, so hopefully this video will be out next week. So you've still got time to go visit. Go visit. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Spirit of uh, Madrid No Thrills, offering different, a different glimpse into Madrid. Uh, leave a comment below about a place or a neighbourhood or a, a bar or anything where we should check out. Because we're always open to new places. So. Yeah, and we, we want to know what things you like. Yeah. Let's go. We're not one of the first, we are the first ones. We are the first. So, we're going to cast our expert eye over these lovely pictures and uh, we'll let you know how we think. So, the idea of this uh, exhibition is to highlight the pictures that uh, Madrid No Throats have taken. And uh, there's a wee description here of the picture. And it's got a link here to the article, which I think is really good as sort of incorporating all aspects of media, you know, online, offline, hard, soft. Mm-hmm, Johnny, we get yeah. it. Clean shaven beard. And I have to be with this guy all night. I don't know if you remember our video that we were in the hippie square, that we call the hippie square. It's next to Mercado de la Cebada, which is this place. is an old market where our grandmas and moms used to go for do their shopping. They didn't go to super, supermarkets. They used to go to these kind of places. And if you go now, it's very well preserved. And it's still open for doing your groceries and go to butchers and everything. So if you live in Madrid, I would recommend you to go and support local business. And if you're not from here, if you come on a Sunday, it's very nice to go for a drink or anything because there are concerts and there's local food or food from all over the world and it's, it's really nice. In this modern age we spend a lot of our time staring at screens and sometimes you sort of get desensitized to what you're reading but coming here, and I don't know why, being in some sort of gallery art space and then seeing these pictures and the, the articles that go along with them, it, it impacts more and it shows what a great idea this is. So you'll find a range of styles of articles about Madrid, not only just about Madrid, the city, but about its people. It's really impressive. Uh, and a video about the Rastro, if only someone did a video about it. I think this is kind of my favourite one. Reminds me of my village, of my my grandparents and all the times that they took me out for Bermu and we went to these kind of bars, we didn't go to those fancy bars or um, hipster bars or anything this is like the culture thing here in Spain and this picture for me is like, like home, those bars are like home I totally agree with everything they say here about supporting local business and local bars because it's the culture of the place. So we've reached the top of the staircase 
it's such a unique space. I've never been to a gallery like it. And on this, which we've been told is the coldest night in Madrid of the year, it's going to be minus six. Um, it's got warm up here, so I think I think it's well worth the journey up. Being a vlogger is not a thirsty job because I'm going to grab some wine. that they moved to the village and they started farming olives to make olive oil and we've been speaking to them and we think it's really interesting and very nice that people go back to the village and start uh, doing what it was done years ago because if not those things would be lost and the, the olive oil is actually very nice I'm going to try it and I'm going to show you this product is 100% eco-friendly, cold-pressed olive oil, you can see here. I think it's a really good enterprise, no? They, they made everything with love and you can taste it. and we really had so good time with everyone in there I hope you guys had a good time spending this night with us That's the end of the video, thanks so much um, If you want to see more of uh, No Frills Madrid we'll have it in the, in the link below and until next time Have a good night! We Go on bold then eh? You're going bold have some of your hair, you got enough of it. Missing some more.